Sam Altman tweeted about the new updates of the codex and few hours ago he was really pushing hard on how powerful the codex is. But what are the features included here? Is it better than Claude Code or Gemini CLI? How you can get it? And if you are from India and getting the ChatGPT Go plan, you can't access most of the feature, but still you can use the codex CLI. How? Everything in this video. But let's first see the new updates. For the codex, the OpenAI developers tweeted about the new updates, which is a new ID extension, easy to move tasks between the cloud and your local environment, code review in the GitHub, and revamping of the CLI. The best part is everything is now powered by the GPT-5. And if you are on the ChatGPT Plus or higher plans, you are going to get this everything included in your plan. But remind you, if you're from India and getting the ChatGPT Go plan, sorry, this is not for you. But, 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 but don't worry. There is a way you can use the Codex CLI in your terminal. I'm going to tell you very soon. As explained in the new feature tweet, there are three important branches of the Codex. Codex ID extension, which is available on all your favorite ID, whether it is VS Code, Cursor, Windsurf, or VS Code Insider. You just need to install it and start working just like you do with the Windsurf or Cursor ID or maybe the GitHub Copilot if you're using it. Otherwise, the terminal one is really the one which everyone is looking forward. And we are going to try this very soon. And this is exactly similar to the Cloud Code or Gemini CLI if you have used. And the final one is the Codex Cloud. Codex Cloud basically means delegating the Codex into the cloud. And this is the most powerful feature of the Codex, I believe, because you can delegate the task to the Codex Cloud, which is going to have the power to run tasks in the background, in parallel, or even in proactively when using its own environment in the cloud. This is game changer and can aside the Codex from other CLI tools like Cloud Code or Gemini. Time for the real magic. Copy this npm command, run it. Once completed, just write the codex and you are good to start with this. Welcome to this and you can start with the signing in with your chat GPT plan. But remember, I told you, you can just use the codex with your plan if you are on the plus or pro or team plan, not for the Indian chat GPT go plan. But as I told you, you can use it with the OpenAI API key. So, so create a new API key here, copy this. Go here and it will say you need to put the OpenAI API key in your environment. So that means I can just press Control D. And here I have added the OpenAI API key as an environment variable. Now, once again, run the codex. And this time it says continue using the API key. Now, since we have that, it's saying like you're running codex here. Since the folder is not frozen control, we are recommended requiring the approval. So you can say allow codex to work in this folder without asking approval or require approval on the edit and command. So right now I'm saying require edit and command and then you can get it started with this. That's so simple. You can first check for the slash status, which is really amazing command. Tell you what are the workspace you are using, what are the model you're using. See OpenAI GPT-5 is here and how many tokens you have used till now. That's powerful thing. So now I'm on a project which is having the git initialized and having a lot of files and I just say codex and starting with an API key and I just want to give full access so that I don't have to do a lot of things and this time since I'm going to start with the first time I just need to say in it and which is like for creating the agents.md file for the instruction for the codex and this is good like it just had the agents.md file not the codex.md file because this file then can be used by any other um, CLI or any other AI tools which can be using this agent.md file. Now, so I just say in it and it is going to initialize everything and you can see actually what it has generated. By scanning everything in our project, you can see Codex is com coming up with this agents.md file with a lot of information about our project. And then what I can do, I can get started with this. I can simply say, hey, can you please upgrade the design for this entire application with the modern 
look and feel with good user experience okay let's see how this is going to work on this time but remember when we do this we have a lot more option we can just send we have a new line control j to have a new line this is not a good thing then transcript what is transcript meaning so if i do the control t and like this it will give you what actually this model is thinking and doing so when it was creating the agents.md file you can actually see the thinking part of the model now when you're done with reading all these transcripts just press q and getting back to where you were and obviously we have used 12505 token for now so let's hit enter to send it and you can see this is the look of a test project i'm having which is obviously really really weird and let's see how codex will going to upgrade this okay so after three four attempts you can see it is really nice design and everything is looking good so i can select a video it's just going to upload the video create the audio of this extracting the audio get the transcript get the shots and then you can cut out the spatial moment from your long video and then you can post it on twitter or linkedin this will also going to have a feature later on where you can cut the shots like see the short form video in a vertical format and that will be coming soon but this is not yet ready it's still in development but you can see the codex has done its job really well every design is really nice looking and at least having good ux okay so that's for the designing part but what else we have there are various commands on the codex that means first of all you can check the model which you are using right now we are using the gpt5 medium you can check with the minimum low or maximum one according to your need you can also see the approvals like whether you have auto approval or full access or read only access for this project then you can start a new conversation which is really good if you have a long conversation history that will going to eat up the context that means every time it is going to do something it need to send everything we have on the chat so it will be good if you start the new conversation time to time to, so that you can minimize the token used in your uh, project then we also already talked about the in it the compact is obviously going to summarize the uh, conversation which is again i was talking about when you have a long conversation and still you want to continue on the same chat then you can use the compact to summarize the con conversation into a smaller context and which is going to reduce the token you have used obviously you can see the diff and add the mention for any file and finally see the status you can also get the mcp connections and log out from the codex that's super duper easy now see the status again all the things are here and this is all about how powerful this uh, codex is for you so how you like this codex and what your initial thoughts on the codex compared to the cloud code or gemini cli now coming out to the comparison with the cloud code in my opinion codex is a baby cloud code is huge it is really really bigger if you see cloud code is first of all having really nice documentation i'm loving the documentation and the way they are explaining each and everything for us in the cli which is really really useful when you want to learn and enhance your journey so with the cloud code you have a lot more things you have hooks you have github action the mcp connection you can have the sessions you can have a lot of different different things in the cloud code which codex is a hundred percent lacking it's just a simple cli tool for writing the code now compared to the google gemini cli hmm, gemini cli is having little more feature but on and all codex is giving a good competition to the gemini cli because even gemini cli is not at all closer to the cloud code in terms of the feature now which one you should use you need to use the one which is best suited for your project sometimes if you have more designing project then for me the cloud 
one is really working because the Sonnet or the Opus S has really good way of designing anything. Now coming up to the back end, I must say the Google CLI is a no match. Google Gemini CLI is having real power on the back end. I worked with Laravel, I worked with the Fast API, Python, and it is killing. Now coming up to the codex, I have recently started using it and I'm feeling that it is good or I can say uh, better on both of the back end and on the designing. So it's up to you which one you want to use, but let me know in the comment section which is your favorite and are you still using any kind of CLI or sticking to the cursor IDE? Which one is your best thing? Plot code, Gemini CLI or Codex?